Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can schedule a Facebook post using using Facebook on your desktop or on your phone. Now, uh, it's it's pretty easy on your phone. It used to be a lot easier on desktop, but since the updates have come through with Facebook, they've actually made it a little bit more difficult. Now, before I do start, one thing I would say is that if you're going to schedule a lot of posts, I still recommend using something like Buffer or some kind of social media manager for that. But um, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do this on your phone and on desktop, just so that way, uh, if you don't want to do the odd post through their uh, native platform. You can do it that way. Okay, so the way it works on your phone is, let's say you've got your page open, and what you can do is look for the publish button. And you just want to press that publish button, type out your post. So I'm going to say my post is this, and this is uh, just a little test page. So whatever I do here is not going to be public. And I finish typing. All I need to do now is actually hit next. And you'll see here, I've got my post there. Uh, it's got a post preview. And when it says publish now, I'm actually going to press the arrow and change that to schedule for later. I can now choose a time in the future, not in the past. And I can basically save that, hit done. And then at the very top, I hit schedule. And now that post is scheduled for later. So that's pretty straightforward. It's right there in front of you on your phone, very hard to miss. But on a computer, if I cut back to the computer now, you'll notice that uh, if I actually scroll down and hit create post here, I've got a little test written up there. Uh, so test post, you might, might be an image or it might be something, something decent. This is the same page as before, so uh, it's not gonna be, uh, this isn't gonna be a, an actual public post. But we've only got a post button here. If I go to uh, anywhere here, I can add things to the post, but there's nowhere really simple that I can see that'll allow you to schedule that for later. So what you need to do is when you go into create post, head down here to where it says post scheduling and go to publishing tools. This will open up a new tab. And you can see we've got this here. Now I've actually got a few things uh, just in here, just sort of, um, in this, you can sort of ignore. But all I need to do now is go to this create post button, type out my post, and then if I want to schedule it, where it says news feed, I'm actually going to click the arrow and put schedule in here. And now I can click on the calendar and choose a time. So I say my, the 11th of August at 4.30 p.m. And when I'm ready, I just hit schedule. Then schedule post again. And now that post is basically to be uh, to be scheduled. Now you can check on this now that you're in publishing tools by going to schedule posts on the left here. And I can delete, you can see I've got one from my phone here and I've got the other one I just typed. Um, so they're all here and I can organize them if I want to. If I want, I can click and I can reschedule these, cancel. Um, I can even preview these. So if I click this one, I can preview the post, edit the post. So all the options you need here, uh, you want to publish straight away, they're all right here in the, uh, basically in your publishing tools. So that's pretty handy to know for the future. If you schedule something, you think I might have put a mistake in there or you want to fix something, you can go in and actually find that. Now, if you don't actually want to do it that way, you can find publishing tools again. Uh, we'll just discard this. So if you're just on your page and desktop, the publishing tools are actually right here on the left. So you don't actually have to go to even create posts. You can simply go straight to publishing tools and you'll land on this page as well. So pretty much publishing tools is where we schedule posts for, for now and under schedule posts here, that's where we can edit and make any changes to these posts that we've set up. So yeah, pretty straightforward, a very basic straightforward uh, sort of a tutorial for you today. Something I know that uh, some people uh, that I work with use, so uh, it's good to have this tutorial uh, for them, even if uh, for anyone who needs to learn how to use this. So I hope that has been useful for you. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, please consider subscribing to see any videos I produce in the future. And if you have any requests, I may or may not be able to help, but leave a comment below if you're chasing any information and maybe I could do a video up for that topic as well. Otherwise, I hope to talk to you again soon and uh, have a great day. See you later.